One day after a special mass calling for healing in the wake of the Catholic Church abuse scandal, a local bishop is going a step further. The Dallas Catholic Diocese will join other dioceses across the state and make public any priest who has faced a credible accusation since 1950. J.D. Miles, live for us in Dallas with that story. J.D. Doug, the bishop is quick to point out that none of the 220 plus active bishops in the Diocese of Dallas will be on that list when it's released in January. But he says some familiar names from the past will be and some surprising ones. The church is definitely in crisis. There's no doubt about it. And I, we do need to rebuild this church. Bishop Edward Burns admitted today what many Catholics have come to accept. Continued accusations that Catholic churches across the country have covered up sexual abuse by priests led the bishop here to announce a major step. Today I announced that we will release the names of all clergy credibly accused of sexual abuse of minors in this diocese dating back to 1950 through today. The bishop says a committee of six former state and federal law enforcement officers have been combing through records since February and will release a list by the end of January. As the bishop of the Diocese of Dallas, I pledge that we will do our best to be accountable and to be transparent. The Survivors Network of those abused by priests called SNAP issued a statement calling the bishop's decision a good first step, but also a quote, distracting attempt to stave off inquiries from Texas law enforcement authorities. The fact remains that bishops have had the power to make these lists public for years. From the conviction of former Lake Highlands priest Rudy Koss in 1998 to the recent sexual abuse accusations against fugitive Oak Cliff priest Edmundo Paredes, the Catholic Diocese of Dallas has failed to protect its faithful, according to the bishop who took over last year. I express my heartfelt sorrow for the pain and the suffering that they have endured at the hands of those who were to be trusted. Bishop Burns says the findings will be passed along to any law enforcement agencies if they haven't already. Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. All right, J.D., thank you very much. Meanwhile, at the Diocese of Fort Worth, Bishop Michael Olson tweeted this afternoon, to clarify the Diocese of Fort Worth has had a list of credibly accused clerics published on its website since 2007.